Indiana Stars and Brooklyn Chelsea on Saturday sold a spectacular football feast typical of a derby as recent as the Bono one in Brooklyn. Exciting, engaging and full of fireworks. These describe the mood at the Golden City Park in Brooklyn where the home side and league leaders, Brooklyn Chelsea, took on Indiana Stars. The atmosphere within the perimeters of the stadium was fueled by an ever-present dominant fan base of the two teams who lived every moment of the game. In a few minutes, it will be kick off here at the Golden City Park. And as you can see, the atmosphere is a true reflection of what a derby looks like. From the cheers, to the visible chance of joy, anger, and sometimes despair, it all had the football to thank for. As the game progressed, it was the home side that went ahead, Ketsi, a Steven Amankona goal from the spot early in the game. Not wanting to be outdone, Ediana Stars posed too many threats, but only got their consolation through substitute Pius Asante Yabwa with some minutes to spare before the end of the game. <laughs> the draw meant Brokum Chelsea still managed to hold on to their top spot with 14 points, with Ediana still in second position. Coaches Paul Tando and Joseph Asarebediako spoke on what was a blistering derby. That's how the game goes. At times you win, at times you draw, at times you lose. But today, at least the first half, I saw them dominating the midfield. So after recess, we have to talk to our boys tactically to improve upon the game in the midfield. And, and it seems in the second half, things worked out for us. But it's unfortunately, we, we considered that goal. It was an interesting game, just that my players uh, were not tactically uh, disciplined today. And uh, the change that we made uh, was okay. And that uh, changed the results for us. And I'm pleased with it, taking a point. I wanted to win, but it did not happen like that. 